In today's video, we're going to be talking about charismatic conversations. And I've got AJ of the Art of Charm who's given the presentation. This is a video clip from my conference, StyleCon Now Menfluential. And I can tell you that this event is a life changing event. I'm going to link to it down in the description. But in today's video, I'm going to have AJ explain to you how to use conversations and how to be the most charismatic person. Now, AJ and Jordan over at the Art of Charm, if you have not been listening to their podcast, I'm going to link to that in the description as well. Guys, this is an amazing podcast. Podcast. They have an amazing business. If you find that, you know, just human interaction is something that you need to improve, you've got the fancy degree, you've got the work experience, but you just don't know how to have those soft social skills. They've actually got a boot camp, which you can go to in LA and you can just master these skills in a very short amount of time with guys that know what they're doing. AJ's the real deal. I am proud for the last four years that he has attended and spoken at my conference. So I'm proud to bring you this small clip. And uh, without further ado, here it is. In starting a conversation, I found over the years, the easiest way to do it is to ask a question. And I know there's a lot of advice out there that says questions are bad, right? If you ask too many questions, it's an interview process and it's kind of taking information from the other person. And it's not that questions are bad, it's what happens after the question that we need to focus on. So we'll always start a conversation with a question at the Art of Charm. Hey, where are you from? What do you do? It's very simple. And the power of the question is that it automatically allows the other person to talk about themselves, which as we know, is everyone's favorite topic. So now, by using a question, we're not searching for what to say next, we're giving the other person an opportunity to share with us and listen to their answer. That's the important part. So, a lot of people come to me and they want to know what to say. AJ, what are the words? What do I need to be saying? When in actuality, we need to be listening. That's the skill that we teach at The Art of Charm, is how to become a better listener. And when we listen, we don't just listen with our ears. We listen with our eyes and our ears. But what I mean by that is, while I'm asking this question, I'm looking at the facial expressions and the emotion on the other person's face before I'm really thinking about the answer that they're giving me. And it's in reading the emotions that we can find emotional bids. These are moments of excitement or enthusiasm that the other person expresses in their answer. These emotional bids might be a raise in volume, right? It might be a big smile appears when they're excited to tell me where they're from or what they do. And it's cluing in on those emotions and allowing yourself to then share that emotion back with the person in the form of a statement. So most of us, we ask a question and then we're ready for the next follow-up question. But it's the statement that is the key to the conversation formula. So it's question plus their answer equals a statement. And it's in that statement that we now allow the other person to understand us too. So we're not just searching for topics, we're not just searching for answers, we're also sharing back. The most powerful statements we can make are we statements that allow us an opportunity to connect with the other person, not tell them just about ourselves. So we statements allow the other person we're talking to to feel like they're our friend already. They're not a stranger. It's about us together. So in going through the process of trying to learn how to be better with women, I realized that these conversational tips that we were teaching our guys work in any situation. So that now I'm not worried when I come to an event like this, being an introvert, as to how am I gonna have a conversation? How am I gonna understand what the other person's saying? I know the most important part is I just have to ask good questions to engage the other person and then rely on listening to find those topics that they're interested in, that motivate them, that inspire them, and then connect on that topic. So now, with the conversation formula, for those of you guys who are struggling to figure out how to connect with someone here, put the focus on the other person. Give them an opportunity to share and open up. And I'll tell you that people don't remember what you say and they don't remember what you do. They only remember how you made them feel. So the statements that we make have to come from an emotional place. Opening up, being vulnerable, and showing off emotion which as men is very difficult, 
right? We all try to be stoic and hide our emotions, but emotions are how we connect with one another. So we might have vastly different experiences, backgrounds, where we were, where we came from, what we studied, but there's always emotions tied to those experiences. So when we're listening to people's answers, we're cluing in on those emotions and understanding that if I can convey that emotion back, we've made a connection. So question plus answer equals statement. Now, if a conversation's dying, right? Maybe we talked about Mexico and how amazing that trip was. Oh, what do I do next? I simply ask another question. So now I know exactly what to say to start a conversation and also how to continue a conversation. So I'm never afraid of running out of things to say. And it's this simple formula that I rely on even here today, meeting a lot of you guys. Like I said, guys, AJ is the real deal. I'm proud to have him at my conference. And if you would like to engage with him, actually talk to AJ after he gets done with his presentation, that's what I built my conference to be able to do. The guy, these guys, they're up on stage, Jose Zuniga, Aaron Marino, but then they come down from stage and they're there for two days so that you can engage with them. You can talk with them. You can ask them the questions of how I can improve my business, how I can grow my Instagram. You know, maybe you're building up an Instagram channel. You're building up a YouTube channel. You're going out there. You're building up a podcast. You can talk to these guys, ask them, be able to learn from them, build real relationships and supercharge your business. Maybe you're just a super fan. You're somebody that you follow what these guys have created and they've changed your life. Well, you can shake their hands and you can tell them what they've done and really inspire them. So guys, I invite you to come out to Atlanta. I'm going to link to the event. It's in February, 2018. Definitely would love to meet you in person. And guys, that's it. Take care. I'll see you in the next video.